Hey, this is my FT trainer, flight test trainer. Let's get out of my uh, Team Black Sheep customized bag. So this is my first or second build. Um, and it's just standard foam board. It's five mil foam board, not Depron or anything like that. And it's covered in tape of uh, protection, uh, aka experimental airlines. Some of the components I've used on it are from my Eachin racer. So originally I did have the just a ten pound one pound camera on the top, and then I've put this on just because I've had it spare. It's um, a run cam. Uh, Rotor Riot first edition. The transmitter is 200 milliwatt. Um, surprisingly, still going. I mean, this has crashed more times than the ZX Spectrum. This is unbelievable. Um, and it's, it's from the racer. So I think it's 200 milliwatts. It's got an OSD on it, so you can get minimum information. So you've got battery voltage, uh, channel, and a timer. Push through to the camera. The motor is a 2204, 2400 again, off an Asian racer. 6 inch King Kong prop, 60-40, barbecue skewers, 5 mil foam board, tape from Hobby King, uh, motors, sorry, servos from Hobby King, uh, I think SG 90s they are, or Hobby King 90s, so 9 gram servos, these are good ones, they've got a white plastic nylon gears, I got some black ones, which they looked identical, they went from Hobby King and they were crap. They just failed, completely failed. So yeah, this is my kind of second build. Um, and today I'm gonna to fly FPV because I found that the easiest way to fly it. So I'll put it together and then launch it and then see how it goes. Okay, so I'm just using the FlySky FSI-6, the uh, relatively inexpensive one, and I've modified the firmware on it. Um, I'm using a six channel FlySky uh, FS I, IAB, I think it is, just the, the big square one. Again, just because it's something I had lying around. Switch on my drink keeper mini. Otherwise, I'll never find it. So, battery in as far as it can go. So, motor test. That's okay. So, lock the motor. Screwder. Aileron. No, oh, sorry, elevator. Ailerons. Okay, so we're good to go. So the way I'm going to launch this is FPV. Because I've got no experience, really, very little experience of flying line of sight. So what I'm going to do is. Get this up to about 89-2% with the throttle. Lift it way above my head. Yeah. There we go. Up. So not not the most elegant ways, and probably a little bit dangerous if I had a more powerful prop on it, but. Yeah, until I get probably a bit more experienced line of sight, but for me it works okay. So this is probably about, lost count now, probably about 18 flights, less than 20 flights I've had. My first five were a couple of weeks back and I just took it into the field with no FPV camera on and tried to let a uh, flight line of sight. I uh, did get a, kind of a 30 second flight time, but the flight, this field was too small it was uncontrollable and it was a lot of it was down to the fact well I couldn't fly an RC plane I'd never flown one before but also that the CG was completely wrong it was just not correct and this is a lot better now let's get up to mid height there we go so that's about center sticks a little bit more wind now, uh, the wind's picked up a little, tiny bit, but not much. There we go, let's see if we go into get a bit more no. There we go, yeah. So, 
yeah, a pretty cheap build. I used all my Ishii Racer 250 parts, apart from obviously the camera, but originally I did put the racer camera on, but it became a bit unreliable. So I put a uh, Rotorite Swift on it, which is the uh, first edition. I had that, I've upgraded cameras. So I had that spare. It's using a 3S 850 milliamp per hour 2025C uh, battery from Hobber King with XT30 connectors on, which I, I, I cut off the old connectors because they were long type connectors that I wanted to use. Um, so they were cheap, they're only about four or five pounds a battery. It's got four of those. The foam board I bought in a pack because my first play, plane that I built was a bushwhacker and then realised I couldn't fly it and crashed it and ripped off the wheels and then glued them back on again. And that, that's quite a complicated plane if you've never flown a plane before. So I thought, right, okay, I'll get a simulator and I'll learn how to fly and then I will look to build a trainer. And I thought, well, yeah, I'll give this a go because it's everything's on there on flight test. Um, and I'll fly it and see how I get on. And that, that's it, that, that's kind of where I'm at with it. So I didn't want to invest a lot of money like a racing wing or anything like that until I, could, I knew I could actually fly the thing. So my next build, I think I'll go for a Spectra. I just fancy one, they look really nice. It's got good anti-stall properties. I like the forward swept wing. Or at some stage, I will build a Drac, but I'll try and design it and build it myself if I can, if I get to that point. But for now, this is fun, you know. It's not, it's not a massive outlay or investment for me. It's, um, say, relatively cheap build and it's a lot of fun for someone who's never flown before let's get a bit of altitude there yeah a loop um so yeah i'd recommend it to anyone it is good fun i'm using this field because again i've not landed a plane before properly on a field uh, with flat and this will give it's only 500 gram all at weight it won't damage any of the crops it just sits on top and if I do crash it respect to the field and to the farmer the way I'll recover it is I, I come up the tractor lines up there and I won't walk across the field like someone's done there and destroy the crops but I'll just sidestep it because it's about growing height of the crop so you can get away with just sidestepping without damaging anything and recover it and also it won't damage the plane much if any let's try and get it uh, there you go. Okay. Any landing you can walk away from is a good landing, I suppose. That was good landing, boys. That, that was okay. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that uh, little video. <laughs>